He was under pressure. Amen. In every aspect of his life, he had to confront religious people who wanted to kill him. Some of y'all can't take nothing. Can I talk to you for real, real, real talk here? Some of you can't take nothing. You want everything. Amen. Anybody disagree with you, you ready to quit the world, not just church. You ready? I don't, we don't see you in, in six or seven months because you got offended by somebody in church. Who are you serving? Who are you serving? What is this all about? Is this about people or is it about God? When it's about God, you don't care what people think about you anymore. When, it, when, when it's about God, it's, guess what, y'all? I love y'all and y'all respect me greatly, but it ain't about me. It's about God. Can you handle pressure? Can you handle not getting your name called and still for the work you've done and still do it? Can you handle being chastised by the scripture? Because guess what? I know we live in a feel-good a feel good era in the church where we want everything to be about prosperity. But can you handle chastisement and say, Lord, it's your will. And I'm still coming to church. Not going to let nobody keep me out of the will of God. You're going you're gonna to have letdowns and people going to quit you. And walk away from you. But are you going to say, Lord, I still trust you. Some of you right now, amen, your man, your woman left you. And you mad as hell. Somebody say glory to God. Oh, I said it. You're mad. Mad at the world. Mad at the world. Let's pull up Job. Somebody say glory, glory to God. You mad and you're, char you're, 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 holding, you're holding it against God. And God was the one that told you not to mess with them in the first place. If you had listened to God in the first place, you wouldn't have never been with them. But when, when they mess with you, you blame God who said, I was here to tell you in the first place what to do. You're under pressure. Lord, they left me, but I'm still going to serve you. They hurt me, but I'm still going to serve you. Oh, I know I'm talking good because I see it in your face. You're like, that's all right, amen. You need to hear this gospel this morning. I ain't got no hoop. I could do that still. No, 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 no. You need to hear it. It needs to go to your belly. It needs to get in your spirit. You need to hear. You need to hear this morning what God has to say. I'm not, into, I'm not in this for entertainment and to change keys and to put my leg all on a thing. No, no. People need to hear the word of God straightforward. Amen. Not entertainment. We got enough entertainers in the pulpit. We need some preachers of the gospel that's going to tell the truth and make you think when you leave here. If you just want a good time, you can go to Great America and get that. Somebody say glory to God. But I want to know if there's somebody that needs the word that will change you and keep you. I need the word of God that will help me. Because guess what? In life, you're not going to be sitting in church talking about Roshantanama and shouting and whatnot. You got to deal with everyday life when you leave here. And you need something that's going to keep you. So you won't crack when pressure is on you. Thanks of God, if you have the Holy Ghost, it will help you to sustain during the moments of pressure in your life. Can you go through embarrassment and say, Lord, I'm embarrassed and they know some of my business, but I'm still coming to you. Lord. 